What's up guys, Dave Ward here to give you my reset in pictures. Um, I had this great idea for a blog post. So I was gonna take all the pictures and kind of you know be witty or whatever and, and put in this big blog post. And I thought, why don't I just do a slideshow for everybody and they can sort of go down the road with me and I'll walk you through my experience with the reset. Uh, third time doing the reset um, and this has been the best by far. The other two were pretty good. First time I wasn't all that into it until probably the second and a half, you know, two and a half weeks or whatever. So it was kind of like, yeah, it was good, but I wasn't really into it. The second one I got really into, I got great results. This one, I really devoted myself to it. It was an unbelievable experience. Um, I lost 16 pounds, we'll talk about that. Um, but beyond that, just everything else that I feel like I've learned, not just about my body, but about myself, how I think, how I act, the decisions that I make, um, it's been a really spiritual um, time for me. And so it's been a lot of fun. And um, let's go take a look at it and see what's what. All right, here we go. So the first thing I did um, when I did the ultimate reset was shave my mustache. My wife had been out of town and uh, it was just before Halloween and I had the great idea to get a sombrero and go as a bandito. So I grew this really cool mustache. And then I had to go to my kid's school and drop off some documents and I had to walk in and see the, uh, see the secretary with this look, which wasn't working for me. So I had a wide variety of personal issues before I started the reset, this mustache um, being one of them. Uh, here's the other one. Yeah, this was day one, checked on in at 184.2. My kind of fighting weight is really about 170 to 175. That's that's really where I want to be. Closer to 170 for sure, but but 175 is kind of top end where I know, you know what, I probably should get back into this whole fitness thing and health thing. And this was a real point for me. Um, I could go into a long explanation of how I got here. I'll go into a brief one. Um, my business has really taken off this year. Uh, as many of you know, I'm Beachbody coach and this year has been a huge year in our business and we've had uh, a few of those and this has been uh, a big one and it's been a lot of fun. It's been very rewarding. I've been able to help a lot of people, which is something I really love, but it's really taken a toll on me. Um, you know, I think some, sometimes people look at what we do as coaches and they think, you know, we just sort of sit back and, and make commissions or whatever. Um, you know, what we do is we pour our hearts into people and, um, help them really succeed. And so when you do that, you become a big power generator and everybody comes to you for power to pull power, like a, like an electric generator would, you know, th that you become that for people and it's exhausting. And we had an event here in uh, San Diego where we had uh, 60 of our diamond coaches here and Autumn Calabrese and, and I was on stage the whole time. And when I wasn't on stage, people wanted to talk to me and I had just run myself into the ground. I was drinking a ton of coffee. I was drinking way too much alcohol. Uh, I was not eating particularly good because of those two things and, and, and just poor decision-making and not paying attention quite frankly. Um, being focused on other stuff and that's how I got to 184. Um, the good news is, hey, this is where I checked in this morning, 168.2, so that's fighting weight. I'm pretty happy about that. We'll get there because it's not been a um, really uh, steady slope of, of, of trend. So my weight's jumped out around a little bit and I want to talk to you guys about that because it's done that every time I've done this uh, program. So here we go, day one. This is alkalinize, which is the supplement, one of the supplements you will take every day. This and optimize, you will take every single day of the reset optimizer pills. Um, and they're just basically digestive enzymes. I'm sure it's more complicated than that, but someone with a science background will have to explain that to you. I just know it works. Um, this stuff, I do know what it does. Um, and what it does is it helps restore your body to an alkaline state, slightly alkaline state which is where it really wants to be. We consume a lot of acidic foods, and I was certainly doing that. Coffee and alcohol are the two big ones that I mentioned. I've never been like a real dessert guy. Um, I can usually stay away from pizza. I will occasionally be a sucker for some fried food, <laughs> um, but it's always like, you know, uh, fried veggies or something like that, you know. But anyway, you know, all of the foods that we eat that sort of taste good and, and spend most of their life in a bag or a box rather than you know, either walking around the earth on four legs or more or whatever, or, uh, you know, a time on a tree because they're a fruit, you know, instead the stuff that's in a box like Doritos, like Diet Coke and that sort of stuff is highly acidic and it's poisonous to your body. And 
Uh, alkaline ice helps restore that. It tastes like a wheatgrass shot if you've ever had that. You know, it, some people, the first couple of, of times, they don't really like it. After a while, you start kind of craving it. I'm actually out right now. I have ordered more um, because I'm going to keep taking it throughout uh, as I go forward just because I know how good it is for me. Oh, I took some day one photos too. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fresh out of bed here. Look at my back. I still have like the bed sheet marks on my back. Well, that is a, that's quite a picture there. Yeah. Okay. Keep moving right along. Back to alkaline ice. Uh, have I told you how good alkaline ice is for you? You know, you don't need to be distracted by the, um, portly man there. Who, uh, 184. Wow. That's a lot. Here's dinner. Um, and this is a Southwestern, um, Southwestern rice and bean taco. Um, with a little corn and some avocado and some salsa and simple and I didn't have a tortilla so I used uh, a flatbread. Sometimes you got to kind of adapt and overcome you know, as it comes to the reset. I've got a lot of tips that will help with that. Here's um, breakfast either that morning or the next day. Uh, blueberries and some golden raspberries with oatmeal and um, I think it called, I can't remember this recipe, it called for something that I didn't like like maybe yogurt and I was like, yeah, I just put a little almond milk in it because I'm not a big yogurt guy. If you like yogurt, go for the yogurt. That's that's my, I don't like beets. I'll talk about that later too. Here's lunch. It's just a chicken salad, some corn from the previous day. I made some homemade dressing with a little olive oil and probably either lemon or white balsamic vinaigrette. Um, sometimes I'll use balsamic, but you'd be able to see that a lot easier. This is either the white balsamic or um, lemon. And, you know, pre-mixed kale salad mix. It's like kale and spinach and some, you know, cabbage. It's just a salad. Oh, I got a massage. Um, and actually, I got a massage uh, once a week. And I would, I will recommend this. Um, if you are in a place where you can get a massage easily, go for it. Get one. Um, I think that it, it really helped me to get through. And I'll, I'll talk about one of the pictures here that is probably the worst day of the entire experience. Here's dinner again. Guess what, guys? It's salmon. It's a piece of salmon with some asparagus and some potatoes. Doesn't that look good? Little pro tip here. Uh, what I do with the salmon, I put a little olive oil on it, and then um, that's rosemary on top, and then at the, at the very end, when I'm almost done cooking it, I hit it with a broiler for just a, a minute or two. Just get it, and it'll crisp it right off, and it, it's, oh, that is so good. That looks delicious. I haven't had salmon since this this meal, and this was like day one or two. Breakfast, so simple and so good that I actually took two pictures. I did take two pictures. I decided to make an omelet. It's supposed to be scrambled eggs. I am I am a big fan of eating an omelet. I do that, and normally I do that almost every day. This is what I would make myself. So I just decided to to kind of flip the switch, turn it into an omelet, a little bit of toast, and that is kale uh, on the side of the plate. There, it's just food. So we went to lunch this day. This is some point at week one, day three or four, I think. We went to lunch and we decided to eat at a place called True Food, which has super healthy food. And um, I knew they would have stuff there that I would be able to get. This is juice. Um, it's like kale. I don't even know what's in here. Kale, celery, apples, something, a bunch of green stuff, and just some fresh squeezed juice, which was awesome. And then this is what I had for lunch. And on the right-hand side, you have just sweet potato hash, all vegan. These are all vegan. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is vegetarian. The sweet potato hash, I believe, is vegan. The kale has some cheese on it, but you're in week one of the reset, so you get a little cheese. So no big deal there. Yeah, and so the other side, it's kale uh, with a little bit of cheese, and I don't know what that other stuff there is. It's vegetarian, though, I know that, because um, this restaurant is kind of known for vegan and vegetarian food and, and really healthy. Uh, when they do have meat, it's always like really lean and healthy stuff. Love that. So you can improvise there, too. Started to get classy with my water. I figured, you know what, if I can't have a glass of wine, I will have, I'll just put my water in a wine glass. And this is how I would drink my uh, water after dinner every night. And there it is. <laughs> we have tempeh. Tempeh and broccoli. Um, so tempeh, if you're not familiar with tempeh, tempeh is the brown thing there. Uh, and what that is, is unfermented soybeans. So distinguished from tofu. Tofu is soybeans as well, but tofu has been so heavily processed and that's why they can make it look the way it looks. It looks like it's been heavily processed. It looks like frozen milk or jiggly milk or something. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I personally think it's gross. Um, tempeh, I like. Um, tempeh, it, it doesn't have a strong, strong flavor and because it's made out of soybeans, they soak up 
whatever you put it in. So like this recipe has you marinate stuff. And if you do the, if you marinate it, it's good. If you don't marinate it and you just pour the sauce on top of it, it tastes like nothing. I mean, it tastes like cardboard. A lot of people say it tastes like cardboard. I know they didn't marinate it because if you marinate it, it tastes like the sauce that they have you marinated in. Here's my angry face because I am forced to eat fruit yet again. <clears throat> so for, I think it's the last 17 days or something like that. I don't even remember how many days it is, but it's like pretty much a little over two weeks of every day I had a bowl of fruit for breakfast. Just pause for one moment as we're here and think about what if you had a bowl of fruit every day for breakfast for 21 days? What if that's all you did? You didn't even do the ultimate reset. You didn't even follow the meal plan. You didn't do all that stuff. All you did was eat and ate a bowl of fruit every single day. You'd be healthier. Of course you would. That's what I've been doing. One of the things that I've been doing, eating a bowl of fruit every day. This is kind of cool. I got this cool like uh, tea maker thing. I'll show it to you. Day six of the reset today. And I'm just cleaning my house and I'm taking a break to have a cup of tea. And I want to show you guys this because this is like the coolest thing I got. This is at a place called Tivana. That's Tivana. And you put your tea in here and then you let it steep for a little bit. And then you just take this thing and you put it right on top of the cup. Boom, bam. Nice cup of hot tea for uh, your reset or after the reset. All right. So I highly recommend tea. Um, you know, you're not going to be drinking coffee if you're a coffee drinker. They don't want you drinking decaf, so don't do that. The tea I get is called Honeybush Vanilla from T from Tivana. Make sure you get a decaf one. Um, a couple of these bags here. The guy that was helping me um, inadvertently, I believe he was well intentioned, but he inadvertently gave me tea that had quite a bit of caffeine in. I inadvertently had a cup one day and I noticed it really fast, <laughs> really fast. So um, make sure you get a fully decaf tea. And this is just kind of how I have the box set up at home. I have it on the side of my kitchen here and I keep everything in the box. So I'll show you, I think in a minute I've got one where the box is actually open. Yeah, so I open the menu. This is how I just leave it <clears throat> during the reset. I have this just kind of off in a corner <clears throat> of our kitchen and I have my menu for the day. In the back of the menu um, is where all the recipes are at. So it tells you what to eat. There's the tempeh you're seeing there um, and the zucchini um, uh, cashew soup, which is fantastic. And then everything, all my supplements are underneath it. So I don't know if I've got a shot. I don't have a shot of that, I don't think. But all the supplements are just in it the way they come in the box. And then I just follow the schedule. I've got the little schedule tucked in the book here and I just pop the schedule out and it's like, boom, okay, here's what I gotta take, boom, 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 do that. And then next thing, what am I eating? Here we go, that's what's for dinner, et cetera, et cetera. Here I'm eating dinner in front of the TV. I've got my fancy glass of wine, some college football, and some tempeh and asparagus. Can you imagine what the Alabama and LSU fans would think if they knew I was watching their game eating tempeh? <laughs> I think that's kinda funny. <laughs> here's how I cook the tempeh. Um, just did it in this blue dish. I'll be working on a whole like recipe cookbook. Um, that's just garlic, tempeh, uh, asparagus, and the sauce that they have you build in that menu. And it's fantastic. This stuff was so good that night. Uh, I found out if you do the reset in October or November, actually, you have an abundance of squash. And this was the squash uh, box I found at our local health food store, uh, Boney's. And I was so excited because squash is, is something you're going to eat quite a bit. And so I was excited to try some different types of squash that I hadn't tried. And these guys have obviously a huge variety. Uh, here's lunch the next day. I actually put a little bit, I had some leftover tempeh. So these are like little tempeh chunks that are in there. And it's just a salad. Instead of chicken, I had some leftover tempeh. I mean, you know, you're just making a salad. That's lunch. Right? Veggies, you know, fruit for, fruit for breakfast and, and salad for lunch. This is a roasted root medley, which has um, onions, beets, a big piece of garlic there, kind of in the middle, um, and sweet potatoes, and carrots. I think there's some carrots in there. There's supposed to be if there aren't. I, maybe we're out. But this is a really good dish. This is something we just make all the time. Uh, this is one of those ones that sticks around. Monica really loves beets. I don't. So we kind of make you know a, some beets for her and just push them off to the side. And then she can have her thing and I can have my thing. But that is just really, really good, super healthy, just veggies, you know. Ah, here I am, I checked in. This is the end of week one, and I had lost 11.4 pounds in the first week. 
which I was pretty happy about because I've, as I told you at the top of this video, you know, 170 to 175 is fighting weight for me. I got there in a week. So I was really happy about that. I was really thrilled about that and kind of, um, you know, gives you, it gives you a little fire to keep going. You know, when you know you're making progress, it, it just, what I love about the reset is that it is a, it is the type of program where you should see some pretty immediate results if you're not cheating. Um, if you're really following the program, which I really did, then you really should be seeing results within the first week. I don't know if you're going to lose 10 pounds. I don't, I don't know. Everybody is going to be different. Um, you should be seeing results in the first week though. And that's one of the things I love about this program is that, you know, when I want to lose 15 pounds, I know the fastest, healthiest way to do it is this program. And, and I'll show you kind of how we did it. So here we go. There's uh, more fruit. Doesn't that look good? Ah, so good. I got to go to the store. I'm out of fruit. So I'm going to finish this video quickly because I got to get out of here. I'm already occupying enough of your time. Dinner again. Uh, you know, it's pretty obvious. It's asparagus. It's beans. And yes, it's rice and beans. Wow. That's complicated. So easy to make. Ah, this was day 10, I think. And on day 10, after not cheating at all and being like following the program 100%, I woke up with what I can only describe as a hangover. And I was freezing cold. I was, my body was flushing something and I felt like hell this day. Thankfully, I had a massage scheduled this day, um, but I don't have uh, I don't have a roof on my Jeep, so this is me kind of like sitting in traffic, going, "I feel like hell. I should just be in bed today." This was a really tough day. Uh, I really did not feel good at all that day, and you know, then I woke up the next day. I felt a little bit better, and we had to go up to LA. Oh, I got a new phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got a new phone. This is actually my iPad, but I did get one of the new iPhones and I'm like, man, I didn't even get the six plus. I just got the six and it, I, it's just massive. I don't know why they need to make it this big. It's just crazy. But, um, so I thought it was kind of funny. I got a new phone <laughs> and more squash. You know, this is like acorn squash probably. And, um, a couple little sweet potatoes in the middle. The sauce that's over the top is a tahini and miso based sauce. That's amazing. It's so freaking good. I just love it. And I've got a little, some little variances that I've been making on this sauce um, and some tweaks that I'll be putting together and, and make available for everybody. So you guys can see if you like the way I do it. It's just, it's the same basic ingredients, a little bit different, um, but the same result. Another shot of that. Ah, we did go up to LA. This is my uh, buddy, Marcus. Uh, Marcus and I have known each other since I guess 2010, become really close. Um, and he runs a gym in Brea called M Body Strength and M Body Pro. Um, so if you're in that area and the um, in the LA area, hit up my buddy Marcus. He's awesome, and we went to go see him. That was really fun. That night we had to go to a a little cocktail party um, and for an engagement party, and that was fine. It was a pretty mellow scene, and I just ordered uh, water. And had a little bit of soda water in there, just a, just a touch and a lime. And nobody knew that I wasn't drinking gin and tonics. And nobody, you know, we, a couple of people knew what I was doing and asked me about it. And, and that was fine. And then that was kind of the end of that. So that was a pretty uneventful night other than just seeing some really cool people and connecting again. Squash. This is the turban squash. Check this thing out. This thing was amazing. Uh, this thing was so good. So um, we are back now and it's Saturday and I'm cooking my turban squash here for, for dinner. This thing is just amazing. So you cut it in half and they're big too. I mean, they're, you know, this is a pretty beefy squash as you can see. Um, so I, they, I put a little water in the pan here and, and that's kind of a thing. If you're cooking squash or, you know, any like veggies that are gonna take a long time to cook, they can get dry. So if you just put a little water in the pan and keep an eye on it and make sure there's just a little bit of water, not much, um, it keeps it keeps everything from really drying out, especially if you're cooking it like this, which I did. Uh, here they are in the oven and seeds below. So, and I made a mess in the oven. That's great. Uh, seeds below. So I took the seeds and my son had a water polo game because he plays water polo. And I just took the seeds and, and put a little bit of um, little bit of uh, the uh, the mineralized salt on on them and roasted them, and they were awesome. And it was like what a great little snack while I'm chicken it, watching my son's water polo game. And then as I was getting ready for dinner, I weighed myself again. And what do you know? I had lost, I was down to 168.4. So I started at 184.2. So I'm no math wizard, but that's 15.8 pounds. 
according to my notes here, um, which I was pretty happy with. Again, I'm now I'm below my fighting weight, and it's is like day 12, something like that. 12, I think. Yeah, right in there. I'm starting to notice this thing's working. <laughs> this thing is working. Um, yeah, these pants are now loose. Those are board shorts, by the way. That night we had a charity auction to go to. Look at this is my fantastically beautiful wife. We're all dolled up here, ready to go to this auction um, where they had free drinks. <laughs> and it was quite a show. Uh, it's I don't know that it's the only, I, I think it's maybe the first time I've been to a charity auction and been 100% sober. <laughs> and it's quite a show with those things. They get people pretty lubricated and then uh, they get in their wallets pretty quickly. So uh, I thought that was pretty funny, but it was a great night and uh, my wife looked uh, absolutely fantastic. Here we are again, our little selfie at the big party. Uh, this is Sunday. So Sunday night, having my dinner. I've got, you know, some, um, some oh, that's some turban squash. Turban squash, leftover turban squash from the night before and asparagus, you know, and there's um, a big, this is the sauce that I kind of made up to put on that stuff. I'm just kind of watching football. And then I weighed myself again. This was uh, beginning of week three. So now I'm all the way down to 167 from 184. And I'm starting to think, hey, I don't really want to lose much more weight than this. This is, I don't want to be, I don't want to just waste away here. So um, I am, you know, starting to get a little bit concerned. But I also know that most people sort of self-regulate during the reset. You know, they kind of just take it easy and they lose about as much weight as they need to and is healthy. You know, some people, I've seen people who have a, a lot of weight to lose, lose an appropriate amount of weight, <clears throat> which is, <clears throat> you know, 15, 20 pounds is not unheard of doing this program and then continue on and continue to lose weight. I was sort of in a situation where I don't want to lose any more weight. Okay. So I had to kind of rethink um, things like snacks. You know, there were days where if I wasn't hungry, I didn't have the snack. After this, I said, you know what, I'm going to eat the snack. Even if I'm not, even if I am not hungry, I'm going to eat the snack just so I'm keeping my body processing food, keeping my metabolism up, not losing too many weight, too much weight. I think it's important to have um, a coach, by the way, who's done this program before so that they can give you some guidance on things like this. I mean, I'm not a certified, you know, red, you know, registered dietitian or whatever. I can just tell you what I've interpreted and I can also direct you to the people who are, who work for Beachbody, that if you have questions I can't answer, we can get a hold of, you know, Darren O'Lean, who's the guy who created this program. He's all about helping people get through it. And we can get a hold of him and we can ask Darren your technical question. This was kind of where I'm at. For example, on the day I woke up with a hangover, I actually wrote Darren just via Facebook um, to say, what, what do you think's going on? And he said, yeah, you're, pro you're probably purging something. And if you feel like this for much longer, then you know maybe something's up. But if it's just one day and tomorrow you wake up and feel better and then after that it's gone, okay. And that's exactly what happened. And so that gave me some comfort. So hopefully um, that's an offer that I can extend to you. More food, like a twice baked potato and some stir fry, yum. You know, here we go. I got football going again. This must have been Monday Night Football. Um, oh, there's a video. We won't go, go through that. More fruit. Oh, here's the kit. So this is how the kit sits on uh, my desk uh, or on my countertop. So here is normally where all the little packets of uh, detox go. And you only take detox in week two. <clears throat> and detox, I believe, is what was going on. I was flushing something and it was the detox supplement that was really stirring it up in me. But here's the other supplements you take, alkalinize and optimize every day. Uh, revitalize is for um, the last week. Soothe, you take every day as well in the evening um, before you eat dinner. And it just sort of helps calm everything down. So those are your supplements. The other one is salt. And you add salt to distilled water. Um, distilling the water takes all the minerals out of it. And then they, we are very selective with what we put back. And what we put back is um, mineralized. There's another squash and, you know, <clears throat> some green beans with some garlic. So simple. So simple. I, I'm going to be doing recipes for all this stuff, but all this stuff is really straightforward. Guess what? It's another bowl of fruit. I mean, you know, there's my little tea thing. I had some tea. Um, oh, the story with this really quickly is that I, uh, this tea, this new me organic tea is decaf, but these little things that I put in there were caffeinated. I told you earlier about not avoiding caffeinated tea. This is the day that I had the caffeine and I was like, whoa, 
stop that. <laughs> it was crazy. I was just bouncing off the walls. Not a really good feeling. Bought some new stuff for my gym. I was getting excited to work out. We're nearing the end of the, of the deal here now. And I'm like, man, I'm getting ready to work out. And next, I'm going to be doing Body Beast. Uh, starting uh, today, actually. Yeah. Uh, build chest and triceps is today. And uh, yeah, starting Body Beast today. So I'm super excited about that. It's a program I've done before, but it's kind of my favorite one. Um, and so excited to kind of, you know, push some heavy stuff around. I don't have a pull-up bar, so I have to use this kind of door-mounted um, thing. But this band is great. It's like a rubber hose. It's awesome, like a, like a garden hose. Um, I got some, like, you know, a new foam roller and a little tricep thing. So some new equipment for the gym. Ah, here's a cool thing. Um, this is, these are soaked cashews. So you take cashews and you soak them in water for about an hour, and it softens them a little bit. And they also soak up some of the water. And then you dump this in the bottom of a Vitamix, and then you add uh, veggies. And you can use zucchini, you can use squash, you can use carrots, you can use onions, you can use, uh, you can use a mixture of all those things. This is a soup we make a lot. It comes out like a creamy soup. Like, it, you really, it's really hard to tell that you haven't used some kind of a cream. It doesn't have that same richness of a butter, you know, but this is a bunch of cashews, not butter. And it's such a healthy option and alternative that I can't understand why anybody would continue to use something like butter in a, a soup, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're watching calories, you know, listen, if you're a, 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 a highly, you know, a highly, uh, a highly trained or experienced athlete, and you're eating butter because you believe that you need those healthy fats and you're trying to keep your calories up. It's a different thing. Most people should be not eat, eating butter. It's way too high in calories alone. Okay, so that's just my thing. This is a really easy substitute. Again, this, this recipe I got from the Ultimate Reset. More squash. Cooking it up. I like to chop it up. Here we are. Made a squash soup that night. That's it. That's what it looks like. Just puree. You can see it's just squash soup puree. I've got some garlic and probably some seasoning in there. Very, very simple. Oh, this was fun. I made pumpkin bread with my kids <laughs> uh, and didn't get to taste any of it. Totally off the menu, but they wanted to do it. And I was like, all right, we'll make some pumpkin bread. We ended up taking it over to my grandparents' house and having it with them, which was really fun. Uh, so it was a fun little experience, but I didn't get to enjoy the pumpkin bread. I forgot about this photo. Uh, I did start lifting a little weights. Um, I was kind of worried again about uh, losing too much weight and I felt good. And I think this is my, you know, the, the rule about working out on the reset is basically don't push yourself so hard that you create uh, lactic acid. And so your body has to process a, lac a lot of lactic acid. Don't, don't push it that far. Instead, um, do what feels good. In, early on, I was surfing, and it felt good to go surfing. Getting back in the water, um, or, or being in the water, the waves were good, and it was like, you just start your day off so stoked that it's hard to have a bad day after that. So that was good for me, and I needed that. Week two, I didn't feel like moving. I, I didn't feel good, especially those, those two or three days, you know, 9, 10, 11, were tough. I, I felt like crap. I didn't want to work out and I didn't. Um, I did some stretching. I stretched almost every day. I will say that I took a little time almost to kind of meditate and just stretched every day, put on, you know, some audio, whatever, you know, you like to listen to. Um, I listened to a lot of spiritual stuff during this reset. It's just kind of where I was when I was doing it. And it was great for me to just take that time and peace out with myself and do a little yoga, do a little stretching, um, move a little bit, but nothing super vigorous. In week three, man, I was ready to go. I felt so good this this last week of the reset. I couldn't sit still. I had just all this natural fired up energy. I felt like I had been taking some pre-workout like E&E &E or something because I had all this energy, but I hadn't. It was just coming from the food that I was eating. And you start your day by eating a big bowl of fruit. There's a lot of sugar in that and it gives you natural energy. <laughs> and I had it. And so I worked out. I will admit I'm a little anal retentive when it comes to doing sets and how I set everything up. <laughs> my wife always thinks it's funny to come to her, you know, weights will be all over the place when she's doing it. And my stuff is all like lined up perfectly, you know. <laughs> I, will, I will not uh, deny that I have that. 
Um, and here was, um, let's see, what day was this? This would have been, I think, oh, this was last night. Yeah, this was last night. So last night, um, I, I measured myself and I took some pictures. I don't think I have them in this roll. But I hopped on the scale at night knowing that it was going to be, you know, it was probably going to be around here. I mean, I know what this weight feels like. This is about what I predicted it would be at. And not surprising, you know, I, I, I really suggest that if you do, you know, if you decide to do the reset, if you've sat through a half an hour of this, you're probably already doing it. But weigh yourself in the beginning, weigh yourself once in the morning. And, and, and so the, the night before you start, and then the morning of the first day. So that you have a daytime and a nighttime weight. You, because if you step on the scale, if you've only weighed yourself in the morning and then you step on the scale in the evening, you're drinking a, just a ton of water and that adds weight. I mean, get pick up a gallon of water and see how much it weighs, weigh it. It weighs several pounds. You're drinking that and you're, you know, you're, some of it is coming out of you, but a lot of it is staying in you. And it, it's extra weight you're carrying around is my point here because when I weighed in, in the morning, I guess this was the evening too. Um, got out of the shower feeling pretty good. Decided to take a few selfish. This is dinner, twice baked potatoes, some carrots, and an onion. This is like, how simple is that? You know, I, I don't even think this was on the menu. I just made it up. It's what I had in the fridge. Um, and my kit is done. That's it. The end of the ultimate reset. Took these picks today. I should side by side them. I will side by side them maybe on the, um, I don't know why I didn't do that on the uh, cover sheet for all this stuff. But this is today at uh, 168.2, uh, a full. Sixteen pounds down from where I started a short 21 days ago. Um, Again, it has been a truly amazing journey. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you if you're doing the reset or if you're thinking about doing it or trying to get some guidance. If that's you and you're thinking about doing it, um, please get in touch with me. I, I have a real passion for this program. I think everybody who is a Beachbody coach has kind of their program that they're really passionate about. It may not be the thing that they do all the time, but it's something that they really believe in because they've had results that are undeniable. And this is my program. <laughs> I love the ultimate reset. I love what it's about. I love the habits that you learn over that 21 day period. I love that I lost 16 pounds. Um, I love that my clothes fit great again. And I love that I woke up this morning and, and I had a cup of coffee because I chose to have a cup of coffee, not because I needed to have a cup of coffee. And I felt pretty good about that this morning and it's been a really fantastic day. Went surfing, I'm more athletic. I mean, I'm just in better shape and I'm really excited to tackle Body Beast um, at a time when my body is in really optimal health, um, which is how I feel now. So uh, again, if you're watching this and you're doing the reset, uh, best of luck to you. If you don't have a support system, please feel free to reach out, at, reach out to me. My email is info at thefitclubnetwork.com and we'll have it plastered all over here. Um, and, uh, if you're thinking about doing the reset and you have questions, get a hold of me. I'm happy to answer questions. If you're worried about something, if you have an allergy, you know, and you're concerned about that, there are a lot of ways to work around stuff. Don't let stuff like that stand in the way. If you have a doctor telling you, you shouldn't do it, Hey, I'm not going to fight a doctor. Doctors know more than I do. Um, but if you're just concerned and you're worried about maybe the withdrawals or whatever, get in touch with me and I, I think I can help you with it. I've, again, I've done it three times and it gets better every time. It really does. And it's just something to me that is such a huge gift to give yourself. So um, that's my breakdown of um, my ultimate reset in pictures. Thanks for your time. Um, again, if I can help you, I would love to.